what's up y'all it's your boy stylus salosonic aka stallion aka dns beats and in this video i'm gonna be talking to you guys about my producer journey and just like the title of this video says why i started producing music what really got me into producing music was when i was a kid i always i always really loved music uh, i used to listen to music everywhere in the car at home i know i was nine years old but i did have a phone i listened to it on my phone and one thing that really inspired me to make music in general was hip-hop i used to see rappers like lil wayne or cross two chains Ludacris, you know, I used to listen to the music and be like, yo, this is so, this is so profound. And it's not like I wasn't understanding, I was completely understanding about like, how do you even sit down to write a story like this? So I started going into different stuff and uh, I watched this movie called Something From Nothing, The Art of Rap. And that really got me into the rap scene and music writing in general. But uh, when I was nine, what really got me into the music production like sound and like liking this stuff is um my mom bought me a guitar and my first guitar uh i had to ask her for it but i broke that like before that but like by the time i was like 10 i got a new one and it, it really inspired me to like learn how to play it and i was writing songs with it you know woody woo and boom, I came across a keyboard one day. Well, not just randomly, but I wanted to learn how to play. I already knew some like chord progressions and stuff, but I couldn't really understand how you could play with both hands. So I had to teach myself the keyboard as well. That was mostly in my free time though. One thing that I had to keep in mind was that I had to do this on my own. Like, sure enough, you could have a tutor, you could have a teacher, you could have whatever, but music is something that, that really comes from within. And one thing that really helped me to learn guitar and the keyboard was actually playing in silence and just learning songs that I already liked or I found like were easier to play or something. But yeah, I was basically playing at my level. That's basically how I got interested in music, started singing, writing lyrics, stuff like that. So one day I was in school. It was like a like like Christmas period in my school. It was I was back in Africa in Nigeria. So we do like different events and stuff. There was like a dance group preparing for the performance. Like my sister was in the dance group, but the dance instructor, he had to mix the music together into one thing for them to be able to dance the whole thing straight through. And that was something that wasn't typically done back then. It was something new. And that was the first day that I discovered FL Studio. Like my brother, my elder brother found out first and then he called me to come see it. Back then, um, I used to DJ a lot. I just used to download songs, play them, mix them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I used to enjoy that too. But when I when I found this software, I was like, you could do so much more. I was completely interested. I downloaded it, started diving deep, and I guess uh, that, that interest is what got me here today. You feel me? I know it sounds super crazy, but sometimes when you're doing stuff or you're doing things that you're interested in or you have a dream, things could come together. Although it might take time, it might be a year later or two years later, pieces do come together. So personally, as a producer, it has really helped me in self-discipline and really getting to understand myself and my work ethic. Because when you want to do something, you start to realize that we as people, we could get lazy, we could get tired, we could get discouraged, we could get slowed down, but I tried not to take it so emotionally as I just learned the stuff, I did it, and basically I got I got better every day. Another thing that it really helped me with was with my music, writing lyrics, I used to make a, 
bunch of music, but I never actually knew how to make a beat. Learning production actually really saved, actually saved me a lot of money. It saved me a lot of time in terms of creativity because people could have creative differences, you know, whatever it may be. But the fact that I don't have to go to somebody to make me a beat, or I don't have to hum a melody to somebody to make a beat for me or try to, I don't know how to explain it. Cause music is something that comes from the inside. So like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not too, I'm not too good of a communicator. Definitely like learning how to program a beat and put all that into a computer. That was, that was very important for me. Cause once I could actually like craft a beat, put something together, it made writing seem so, so easy because you can always be sure that you can make a beat to fit your rap, whatever the energy is, whatever the emotion might be and so on. That's that's just basically how I see it, man. As a if you're if you're a music producer and an artist, you would understand this too because it's just so much freedom. One one thing I would want to leave you guys with is why you should appreciate music. Is that music is something that everybody loves, everybody resonates with. Even sometimes you might feel like this song is talking. It's like this is me. You know what I'm saying? But people don't understand that. It takes a lot of work to be able to even say those things because some people really just scared to let stuff out. This is why we should really appreciate music. People take their time and basically, you know, go out of their way to be able to put these things together, to be able to help us like mentally, to be able to help us have fun. You feel me? So I feel like music is essential in everybody's life because everybody always has this song they like. On that note, I think uh, I should just end this video. I hope uh, what I've said might inspire some of you to start producing music, making music, or making music even more or better or learn something different. But yeah, uh, it's your boy Stalisalusani. It's been a great time with you. I wish you the best of luck. Peace.